episode of Impressive Impressions. Yay! Impressive <laughs> this is George F. Barber. Do What's look your middle directly name? into camera. Yeah. Do you have oh, a middle right name? I do. What is it? Francis. George Francis. Shut up! I totally the, guessed! The third. I guessed F. Because yeah. you're effing talented. Did you not know it was F? It's in my email. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, that's why I guessed it this was This one, like, I'm thinking uh, she's a clairvoyant. My name is Claire, only after 10. Okay, that's Claire. All right. I mean, well, you know, uh, candles, man, they're, uh, they're fun. You can set them on fire. You know, it's like, whoa, you know, man. And, uh, yeah, you know, you get out of the yard, you sit with them, they're far out. <laughs> All right, man. I can do a Tom Waits, but only in the context of this story where I saw him come out of a dry cleaners one time. And uh, he had a shirt with him, and I was sitting eating a sandwich, and then he went to his car, and he stopped, and he looked at the shirt like this, and then he came back uh, towards the dry cleaner, and then he looked me right in the eye and went, wrong shirt. <laughs> it's almost a Fozzie Bear, oh which is God. just sort of like, hey, come it. So Georgie, um, you are really talented. That's true. We took an improv class together. That's true. That's how we met, at true. the UC B. That was... Uh, 2012. Holy balls. That's, that's a long almost time ago. five years ago now. We're Septem five, our September. friendship is five years old. Describe yourself now. You've, you've been in a film festival with your amazing film. Yeah, let's, I don't know. I, I'm an actor. Writer, uh, director? Yeah, filmmaker, uh, comedian, musician. I paint. I'm an actor. You're a hyphenate. I'll say that because that's the one that I, uh, I'm lucky to sometimes get paid to do. Right. Um, so Did you say it's like your favorite thing to do? Yeah. I, my sister has a podcast called uh, Don't Keep Your Day Job. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's what she's always asking people. And I feel like that's an important question because they say like wherever your talent is and your desire, yeah. that that's where the money spot is. Yeah. So I think that's fundamentally important. I think it's also what makes people like far more bristly. Is that they do things mm -hmm. and they're like you're a little oh, really... bristly. You got I am. Yeah, I got a little. I got a little. And you're married. No I am kids married. yet, though. No kids. Okay. I always think yeah. it's important cat, to mention though. that people have lives outside of their art because I think it's an important. It's an accomplishment yeah. to be married. So work at UCB. Right? I do. I do. I manage uh, the theater. That's an... a week. amazing. But which one? There's two. Campuses. The UCB Sunset. The bigger one, the one with the gym inside. Doesn't it have a gym and a it, spa? It has a gym, it has it a spa, like it. it has an Olympic pool. And it has it's copies filled of... filled with Kool-Aid. Because <laughs> it's a goofs and gags place. And it's cool. With it's cool, cake. it's fun, and it's hip. And you have um, copies of the magazine, Pawnee, the Pawnee Press yes. or something. Yes. And um, are you ready to find out who your person is that yes. you're imitating? Okay. Yes. I'm nervous. Um, I think I might have guessed it, but I'm... Really? Do you yeah. remember what your what your um, clue was? Someone who uh, walks like in a, with a capital, and then another pun that had hard in it. And I was like, <laughs> I think I can Sherlock this Walks into who it might and be. Walks and tall. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It nice. is John C. Riley. I do with John C. Riley. You do? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, you'll have to show me that. Sorry. Well, the reason I picked him is because I was thinking of people who are not just hilarious, but can also do the serious stuff, and then also musical. And he's I, great. Yeah, he's just... He's wonderful. He's, he's wonderful in everything. Yeah. There's great hats, too. I never you ever see him in, like, hat. press photos? He has, like, really elaborate hats on. Uh, this is, like, a little newsboy cap. Oh, newsy? This is, uh, this is for the... Uh, shout out to the uh, local IBEW 103 in Boston. That's the... Uh, Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, 103 Union, Boston. Keeping the lights on. Keep it true. Um, yeah, one time I walked into our class when I was taking class at the UCB, and you were, there happened to be a piano there, and you were like strumming the keys. Yeah. And I was like, the first thing I said was, you're like a modern John C. Riley. Not that John C. Riley's not modern. He's not that old. You're like, like that old timey actor, John C. <laughs> Riley. <laughs> but you're like. Kind of, you could be his son, theoretically. Well, you're that and young. I, I might. I wanted to come on here today because I, I might be. <laughs> and if you're watching this, Dad, get your swabs in now. G JCR, JC. Ooh, yeah, those are good initials. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I like to mash up the, the voices that I do. Yeah. And if I was gonna do a crossover or a mashup with him, I would say he's a cross between Bartles and James. Remember those guys from yeah. the eighties? Yeah. And we thank you for your support. That yeah. guy. And a little bit of Tracy Morgan. 
Yeah, that's fair. I don't think so, Liz Lemon. Like, take that kind of hole. Yeah. With Bartles and Wait, drains. What is it? The, um, can, you, can we get that sound <laughs> one more time? <laughs> this is me doing Tracy Morgan because I'm so castable. Oh, Liz Lemon, I don't want to know. Like, it's very kind of... <laughs> Very like filled out, like ha, oh! like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do that more. Like it helps. <laughs> it helps with the explanation. If you, think, it honestly sounds like when a a bear rears up. That's the noise that you're making. It's like oh, oh, oh Liz oh. Lemon, Doctor Spaceman. I don't dramatic. think so, Liz Lemon. It's very like <laughs> you keep doing it. <laughs> when I think you're gonna okay. stop doing it. You keep doing it. Okay, so we're going to watch a little bit of Steve Brule. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. Check it out. That's it. That's the guy who's like, um... <laughs> yeah, if the brew was made cheese, <laughs> would you eat it? So we have... That's the thing, though, from playing music, <gasps> stupidly enough, is that <coughs> if I hear somebody's voice enough, I can usually do right. it. So that brings me to why I'm wearing the Dear Evan Hansen shirt today, because I'm going to plug it. It's an amazing Broadway show that I saw in New York. Uh -huh. But on the real Broadway. <laughs> it's because I wanted to do like a little bit more of a musical day. Um, I wind up singing in almost all of these shows anyway, but you are so musical. And oh, I heard Jenna Fisher say on Nick Hoffa's podcast, which is called Eyeline, which is a podcast for actors and other people who are interested in the world of acting. He points Eyeline right, right there. This is an Eyeline. So she said that Megan Mullally said, oh, honey, can you, you can't do impressions. That's my Megan Mullally. And Great, she said, Megan Mullally. Thank you so much. And, and she said, no, I can't. That's my Pam from The Office. That's my Jenna Fisher. Wow. No, no, I, I can't. That's a great Jenna Fisher. It's... <laughs> It's, listen, if you saw your Tracy Morgan, <laughs> which you will. Megan Mullally was like, oh, honey, as long as you can sing, you can do an impression. Because if you can hear it, and you just proved my point. What did you say? I Repeat that back. Well, because as a... <laughs> it's on. As a musician, if I hear a thing once, not like this way, but like voices in particular, I can usually get somewhere near it. You know? <laughs> we don't need this anymore. We don't need this. It's broken. <laughs> now we're going to watch my favorite scene in Step Brothers. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <clears throat> Me too. Saying, Pam. Yeah, I'm sorry, who is this gentleman sitting behind you? Hello, Ms. Lady. I'm Dale. I'm Brennan's stepbrother, and I think I might be able to help with a Pam. <laughs> Let's see if I'm right. Can I see a little Tracy Morgan? Tracy Mo? Morgan, Tray for Mo? me, would be like, Anybody see my sprite? Oh my god, that's good! Yeah. So cross that. Okay. With Bartles, let me hear Bartles and James. Bartles and James would be like, And we thank you for your support. No, that was too Boston. Do a little southern, more southern. And we thank you for your support. <laughs> so now put those two together. Anybody see my sprite? That's still just Tracy Morgan. Okay, yeah. Yeah, hello, Miss Lady. I'm Dale. Um, Brennan's stepbrother. I think I'm gonna be able to help out with this whole Pam, Pam situation. It's Pam. It's pa Pam. It's like Pam. It's like calm. It's P A. Yeah, P A M N. Don't. Yeah. It's like Pam. 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 I don't even. Pam. Know. That's not fair. Pam. You're too talented. Duh. I don't have any notes for you. I have, <laughs> to I have no notes for you. You effing awesome Thank person. Thank you. You're very kind. Okay, then how about? Can we, this is, this was my plan B. Oh. I'm always ready. In my dreams, you're blowing me some kisses. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do. Good, Jenna Fisher. Thanks. You and I could go down in history. Glad you clarified that. <laughs> That's what I'm praying to do with you. Let's do, do it. it in ways that make us feel good. That's almost full Kermit just then. Let's do it and make that sacred sound. Congratulations. So impressed. Nailed it. Up top. This is my fake banjo. Not a banjo for right. 100 miles on this also, song. Do a triangle. Great. Good triangle. Massive impression. 